when I registered, you know, you never think you're going to get chosen. Um, they say the odds are like winning the lottery. Um, so never, I never really thought that I'd get chosen. Um, but, you know, once I did, I never really looked back. For Brett Casper, being chosen to be a bone marrow donor was a very important moment. I've worked on other volunteer um, events. The football team does a lot of um, volunteering throughout the campus, on community, uh, in, within the community. Um, so I've done things like that, but um, nothing to the point of, you know, donating bone marrow um, for somebody. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to be a part of it. Last year alone, roughly 12,000 people across the country were in need of bone marrow transplants. The Be The Match organization specializes in finding people to donate bone marrow. Brett discovered the organization through UW Oshkosh football coach Pat Cerrone. Our football team is coordinated with Be The Match. Coach Cerrone um, kind of wants to get the, the team involved with it. Um, so last spring we had, um, we had one of the representatives from Be The Match come in and um, give a little information about their uh, program and um, had us do a registry on campus. It was after that registration that Brett discovered he could be a match for someone in need. I thought it was just kind of like a follow-up, um, like if they were, you know, just wondering if I'd still be, wanted to be a donor, um, you know, so I filled out the paperwork that they, you know, sent. But from there, you know, more health surveys came, came with it, and, you know, I finally figured out it was actually going to be something of it. So, um, you know, stuck with the process, and then finally, uh, it was the week of finals for first semester, and they actually told me that they were going to, to go through me and be the, the donor for this patient. That patient, an eight-year-old girl battling lymphoma. Be the Match guidelines prohibit any information about patients from being released to the public, and that includes to the donors. If patients and donors want to meet, they have to wait exactly one year after the donation to do so. I've already said that I've, I've been looking forward to um, potentially meeting the patient, so uh, for my part, I'm okay with meeting the patient. It's just kind of up to them. But between there, uh, between the year, um, I will have like anonymous contact with the, the patient um, where I'll get updates on her status, um, you know, how her recovery is going. There are two ways to retrieve bone marrow. One way is through the blood, the other by going into a person's lower back and into their pelvis. Brett went with the second choice. I was expecting a lot more pain um, through the procedure, but really what I went through was hardly any. Um, it basically felt like I just you know, threw out my back, like lifting weights or something like that. So um, I took the week off after the donation, um, just kind of laid around, recovered a little bit. And, um, you know, a week after I was, you know, back on my feet fully and, and getting back into the swing of things. The Be The Match organization is always looking for potential bone marrow donors. Brett says it's a process that's not all that painful and can ultimately help to save a life. Reporting for Titan TV News outside of the Radford Hall and Student Health Center, I'm Anthony Bruno.